Hi, my name is Alan Vance with Gilson Engineering Sales in Tampa, Florida, and I'm in our Gilson Flow Lab today, and I'm going to demonstrate to you and show you how to configure our Symmetrix FT420 display slash transmitter. The FT420 is a common display that is used between our insertion paddle wheel flow meters, our turbine flow meters, and our insertion mag meters. It will display both rate and total and will give you a 4 to 20 milliamp and pulse output. Let's see. This is the FT420 display that I'm going to show you how to configure. Uh, this display is mounted integral on an insertion mag meter. Uh, you could also mount it remote up on the wall and then we give you the cable that goes between uh, the remote and the integral flow meter. What you see on the display, first off, it's a two-line display. The top line will show your instantaneous flow rate in gallons per minute, gallons per day, whatever you set up. Currently, we're not flowing, so we're reading 0, 0 0.00 GPM. The bottom line is your total, and right now we have 56.3 gallons on that totalizer. It's very easy to reset that total. Uh, you'll see the word reset here, and this is the up arrow. All you have to do is push it once, and you can easily reset that to zero gallons on your totalizer. Now, to get into the configuration, it's very simple. All you have to do is hit the set button. Your first configuration parameter is your K factor. Currently, I have 40.000 as the K factor. The K factor is the number of pulses per gallon. So let's say I wanted to change that K factor. I use a left arrow key to move the cursor to the left, and I'll put it right on the 4 where the 4 is flashing, and then I use the up arrow key, and I could change that to 60. And if that's the value you want, you hit set. It'll drive into the next parameter. The next parameter is set P. And that's if you're using the pulse output, you can set the number of pulses per gallon. Let me set that to 60 as well. Again, the far right digit is flashing. I use the left arrow key to move it over. Once I get it to that digit, I can hit the up arrow key and put in 60, and that's how you key it in. Once you're done with that parameter, you hit set. The next parameter you put in is your 20 milliamps or your span. This will be the, the output to a PLC or DCS or chart recorder, whatever you're doing with a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Typically, 4 milliamps will output at zero, and what we're doing here is setting the 20 milliamp. Right now, I have it at 70 gallons per minute. Let's make that 90. I would use the left arrow key, come over to the 7, go up 8, 9, and that would be set for 90 gallons per minute at 20 milliamps. You hit that, and you go to your next parameter. Next parameter is your decimal point. Right now I have 0, 0.00. I can go no decimal points, one decimal point, or two decimal points. Very easy. Finally, the last parameter you put in is your engineering units. Right now I'm in gallons per minute, and you see it flashing. If you want it, you could change that to gallons per second, gallons per day, million gallons per day, by just going with the up arrow key. And when it gets back to minutes, you leave it alone, and you hit set, and you're back to your main display. And that is a simple configuration of the Symmetrix FT420. And that is all there is to program a Symmetrix FT420 display. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at 1-800-860-4499. Thank you.